most incredible saxophone player I think I've ever seen play live. I Thank you. I'll take that. You yeah. can come everywhere and introduce me. Well, I saw you at She Rocks a few years back. You were phenomenal. Your parents were there. You were yes. honored. Um, I think Dave caused you just on some cruise with some playing jazz, and then uh, yeah, we get around. And then I was hosting the She Rocks Awards last night. Oh, you did host last night. Yeah, it's like I when you saw me and filmed me, I was getting the Mad Skills Award, and so just having fun with my friend Orianthi and and playing my song kick ass and so last night i got to co-host and give people honors which was super amazing you know so it was cool meredith brooks and dion warwick and uh yeah just some incredible incredible artists milk and yeah amazing amazing women came off the jazz cruise uh, about a week ago right yeah no i was on that cruise i mean it was kirk whalem and myself and dave cause and kenny Lattimore. Um, oh my God! There were so many, so many artists. Uh, Richard Elliott, Rick Braun, Peter White. It was really fun. You know what? It was fun to be just back in the swing of things. And I know it's hard right now. We all want to be careful, and we're being careful. But we did it, and it felt so good. And everyone just, you know, totally embraced being together. It was, it, it was just special. It was great. Well, I'm looking at your signature. Uh, we'll talk about it. Sure, sure. I know. We were talking before you came around. Um, we were talking about, I created a mouthpiece with Theo Wani. Um, Theo is this mad scientist uh, mouthpiece designer. And so we created this. Check that out. I mean, it looks like a piece of jewelry, doesn't it? But we wanted to make a mouthpiece for our original one, which this is now Model 2. Our original mouthpiece took us two years to complete. And we really, we pined over the details. I wanted everything to be beefy and have just this amazing resonance and tonal quality that was the same, you know, from the top of the horn to the bottom, even off the horn. And we worked hard on it. And that original mouthpiece I played for a year before we put it out. And it's now been out, I'm guessing, for four years. Um, and he came to me about a year ago and said, some of that stuff that we find over that we were really trying to figure out, he goes, I have the technology to make this better. I was like, no, 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 you can't. This mouthpiece rocks. Like, I can play with Aerosmith with this mouthpiece. I can play with my band that's super loud and just... You know, it, it, it's so resonant. And he goes, try some of these. So we got together and I tried a bunch of prototypes of a model based off my original one. He blew my mind. And literally it was better and I didn't think we could make it better. But as I said, he's a, a mad scientist. Theo Wani, you know what? We met uh, and just became friends. I remember my grandmother used to tell me, you know, do business with people you like and and buy things from people you like. When I met Theo and I was just looking at mouthpieces, you know, you walk around the NAMM show, you've seen a bunch of crazy stuff. You got to try things and meet people and shake hands. And I tried his mouthpieces and, and just got to know him. I loved him and that was meaningful for me. You know, some people don't really care about that. But if I'm going to work with someone and create something and spend my time and put my name on something, I want it to be something of immense quality and I want it to be with someone I want to be with that I trust, that I endorse. So this is the guy and I'm so proud of what we've done. So, you know, sometimes it's just chance meetings and you, uh, you feel that bond. Take it farther. So it, it's amazing for me i've now been playing this mouthpiece for a year nice. and now we're releasing it just like the other one so, so the launch of it. this is road tested this has gone through recordings tours cruises um the works and it's just a beautiful incredible mouthpiece makes it very effortless to play which is what it should be you shouldn't work for it you should just emote and it happens you make it look very easy but i know it's not thank you um what does 2022 look like for you? You know what? I just came out with my album, uh, Forever. Okay. And so it's kind of like a chant. Cindy A. Bear Forever. It's on all the platforms. <laughs>
It is. Spotify, um, go to my Facebook, you can uh, go to my website and buy signed copies of it. Thanks, Mindy. Thank you.